dear students in the last class we have introduced ecm without explaining how the equation is derived in the present class we will explain the derivation of ec and the idea behind ec and as we have discussed in the previous classes cointegration is what is known as a relationship between i1 variables such that the residual from y on x is i0 and a relationship between i1 variables is considered as a long run relationship whereas a relationship between i0 variables is considered as a short run relationship and what we describe here is how we incorporate the short run dynamics in a relationship between y and x which are co-integrated now we describe a dynamic relationship between i0 variables which embeds a co-integrating relationship between between variables known as error correction model as we have described in the last class xt and yt are i1 but in the ecm we take delta y and delta x so that they are i0 now to explain this we consider an ardl model like this yt is equal to delta plus phi 1 yt minus 1 plus delta 0 xt plus delta 1 xt minus 1 plus vt As you can see, this is an ARDL model, autoregressive distributed lag, because yt on yt minus 1, xt, xt minus 1, autoregressive distributed lag model. Now, what we are going to derive is, we derive the ECM from this ARDL model, or stated differently, ECM is a reparameterization of what is known as short run autoregressive distributed lag model. And if y and x are co integrated, then as we have suggested earlier, there is a longer run relationship between the variables. And suppose that in the long run, yt is equal to yt minus 1 is equal to y xt is equal to xt minus 1 is equal to x and epsilon t is equal to 0 and substituting the values you will get a y as equal to delta plus theta 1 y plus theta 0 sorry delta 0 x plus delta 1 x because vt is 0. Now, can be written as y into 1 minus theta 1 is equal to delta plus delta 0 plus delta 1 x. Assuming that in the long run, x and y attain their long run values. Now, we write this as y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x where beta 1 is equal to delta y 1 minus theta 1 beta 2 is equal to delta 0 plus delta 1 by 1 minus theta 1. So we have derived an implied co-integration between y and x that is 
we have derived a long run relationship between i1 variables now we assume that this theta one is less than 1 only if we assume that theta one is less than 1 we have the short run ARDL model uh, converging to the long run model so for convergence to happen we assume that uh, this theta one is less than, less than one now in order to see how the ECM is derived from the ARDL model let us manipulate this ARDL model like this now this since this is equal to the ARDL model yt minus yt minus 1 is equal to delta plus yt minus 1 is subtracted theta 1 minus 1 yt minus 1 plus delta 0 xt plus delta 1 xt minus 1 plus vt then we add a term minus delta 0 xt minus 1 plus delta 0 xt minus 1 minus plus to the right hand side so that delta yt is equal to delta plus theta 1 minus 1 yt minus 1 plus delta 0 xt minus xt minus 1 plus delta 0 plus delta 1 xt minus 1 plus it plus it we add and subtract at term in the right hand side uh, delta 0 xt minus delta 0 xt minus 1 plus delta 0 xt minus 1 then delta 0 xt minus 1 then this can be written as plus theta 1 minus 1 yt minus 1 plus delta 0 plus delta 1 xt minus 1 plus delta 0 delta xt plus vt this term is written to the xt minus xt minus 1 is delta xt now this can be written as equal to theta 1 minus 1 into delta y theta 1 minus 1 plus y t minus 1 plus delta 0 plus delta 1 by theta 1 minus 1 x t minus 1 plus delta 0 delta x t plus v t this is same as this if you multiply this into this you will get to this this into this you will get to this then this into this you will get to this same as this now using the definition of beta 1 and beta 2 the definition of beta 1 and beta 2 we write delta yt as equal to minus alpha into y t minus 1 minus beta 1 minus beta 2 x t minus 1 plus delta 0 delta x t plus v t where this alpha is equal to 1 minus theta 1 minus theta so that as I told you in the last class now you can see that the expression inside the bracket is the co-integrating relationship 
So we have embedded a co-integrating relationship in an ARDL model. We have embedded a co-integrating relationship in the ARDL model, as you can see. And uh, if uh, minus alpha is alpha is 1 minus theta 1, minus alpha is minus of 1 minus theta 1 is equal to theta 1 minus 1. And this minus alpha into yt minus 1, you will get the same equation we have written just above this. So, this equation is the easy equation, the error correction model. And as, as, I, as I have written in the last class, you can add a constant here. This is u hat t minus 1, this is delta xt. Now, why I say that, that lambda was negative? Because lambda is minus alpha. Alpha by assumption is less than 1. So naturally, it is a minus quantity. Minus quantity. So, so this expression, this 1 minus theta 1 or theta 1 minus 1 is the correction for y. So ECM is nothing but a reparameterization of what is known as an ARDL model, a reparameterization of the ARDL model. And as I have already interpreted what is alpha, everything, so this is what we do. And the value of alpha will give you an idea about the, the speed of error correction, how quickly the disequilibrium will be corrected because it is nothing but the disequilibrium error. If there is a disequilibrium, it will be corrected quickly. Now, as I told you, this quantity is, is negative. So if yt was greater than beta 1 plus beta 2 xt in the previous period, delta y, y decreases and delta y is negative. So y will decrease and the error will be corrected and vice versa. So this is, so if uh, we estimate a single equation, we will not uh, simply regress y on x. What we do is, we estimate an ECM. ECM will give us beta 1 and beta 2, the parameters defining the long run relationship between y and x. And also the extent of correction in the error in the previous period. So the name error correction model. This model incorporates both short run and also long run. Incorporates long run relationship between y and x and also the short run dynamics. That is the proportion of error corrected in each time period. But remember this. To estimate ECM, it is assumed that this is a single equation model. But if uh, error correction is taking place in both y and x, you cannot uh, specify the model like this. Here correction is taking place only in y. If you expect that correction is taking place in both y and x, you have to consider more than one equation. If there are two variables, you have to consider two equations, then we will use vector error correction model, V E C. This is simply ECM, single equation. Its multiple counterparties, V E C, vector error correction model. And uh, in the vector error correction model, we will obtain idea about the extent of error correction in each variable, y, x, z, etc., etc. That we will see later.